Orissa is one of the important maritime states on India's east coast that sustains magnificent and diverse ecosystems covered with hills, forests and rivers that spread across the 30 districts. It is a well-established fact that the fisheries and aquaculture sector play a very momentous role in providing nutritionally rich food and livelihood support to the marginalized communities across the developing world, thus contributing directly and indirectly to their food security. With a coastline of 480 kilometers and 6.86 lakh hectares of inland freshwater aquatic resources, Orissa is the fourth largest fish producing state in India. Out of the 4.54 crores of the population in Orissa, over 94% consume fish. And the current per capita fish consumption is 16.24 kilograms per year. In the last two decades, Orissa witnessed tremendous growth in the fish production sector. Total fish production in 2020 to 2021 was 8.73 lakh metric tons. The total export value of seafood in 2019 to 2020 was rupees 3,243 crores. Despite tremendous resource potentials and incredible growth in fish production, every year, Orissa imports a significant quantity of fish from neighboring states to meet the local demand. On the other hand, this fish-loving state is currently coexisted with food insecurity challenges. Alarmingly, over 29% of children are undernourished. Orissa is currently on its way to being self-sufficient in fish production. The government of Orissa has brought several policies, initiatives and schemes to improve fish production and associated livelihoods in a sustainable way. To implement the Orissa Fisheries Policy 2015, the Fisheries and Animal Resources Development Department signed a Memorandum of Agreement for Technical Collaboration with World Fish on 28th June 2016. World Fish is an international CGIAR research institution headquartered in Malaysia. It develops, improves and scales scientific research on aquatic food systems into scalable solutions with transformational impact on human well-being and the environment. The noble goal of the technical collaboration is to make Orissa's aquaculture and fishery sector more sustainable while creating employment, stimulating inward investment and contributing to the state's goals in eliminating malnutrition among vulnerable and marginalized communities, notably women and children. One of the important aspects of the Orissa Fisheries Policy 2015 is to increase the fish production from unutilized and underutilized public water bodies, such as Gram Panchayat tanks across the 30 districts of the state. Orissa possesses about 62,000 multipurpose GP tanks, with a total water area of 54,000 HA. These were built under various government schemes and community programs over the past several years for water conservation and multipurpose use. The tanks are administered by the Gram Panchayats under the Panchayati Raj and Drinking Water Department. Under the aegis of the Mission Shakti Department, there are about 6 lakh women self-help groups with approximately 70 lakh women members for various socio-economic activities and women's empowerment at the village level. Through the access of institutional credit and capacity building, these women groups are actively involved in various livelihood generation activities. Sensing a great opportunity to produce fish in these tanks through the women self-help groups, an interdepartmental convergence program was initiated involving Panchayati Raj and Drinking Water Department, Mission Shakti Department and the Fisheries and Animal Resources Development Department with technical support from World Fish. To help women groups start fish farming in GP tanks, the Panchayati Raj and Drinking Water Department instituted a favourable policy for long-term leasing out of the GP tanks to women SHGs on a priority basis for three to five years in all 30 districts of the state during 2018-2019. Simultaneously, the Fisheries and Animal Resources Development Department launched a gender-sensitive flagship scheme named Input Assistance to Women Self-Help Groups for Scientific Fish Farming in Gram Panchayat Tanks in 2018-2019. 
This scheme promotes nutrition sensitive pond polyculture through the farming of micronutrient rich mola alongside Indian major carbs. This scheme provides an input subsidy of rupees 90,000 per hectare at the rate of 60% against the total unit cost of rupees 1.5 lakh per hectare. The scheme targets a fish production of 2,500 kilograms per hectare per crop with two crops per year. Carp Mola Polyculture Process The process of fish farming begins with the identification of a good gram panchayat tank which can be about 1 hectare in size and 5 to 6 feet in depth. It should retain water for at least 6 to 8 months of the year to complete at least one crop cycle. In general, fish farming in tanks involves pre-stocking pond preparation, stocking, post-stocking pond management and finally harvesting and marketing activities. These activities are called better management practices. Tank preparation involves sun drying and ploughing of pond bottom in case of seasonal ponds which get dried up during the summer season. For an older tank, the process begins with repairing and fixing the embankment. After that, aquatic weeds and other plants are removed from the tank and its surroundings. The predatory fish are eradicated by applying Mawa oil cake or by repeating netting of the tank. Lime is applied to improve the quality of the pond soil, stabilize water quality and to influence nutrient production. Based on the pH value of soil and water, lime can be applied at the rate of 80 to 100 kilograms per acre when the water depth is 5 to 8 feet. Fertilizers are used to boost the production of natural food for fish in the pond, such as phytoplankton and zooplankton. Inorganic fertilizer such as urea at the rate of 20 kg per acre and single superphosphate at the rate of 40 kg per acre can be applied along with organic fertilizers such as 80 kg of cattle dung per acre. After that, check the plankton production and water quality parameters in the local aqua laboratory or using a farm kit. For this flagship program, the department recommends stocking large-sized advanced carp fingerlings of 50 to 100 gram size. The stocking of advanced fingerlings has many advantages including a high survival rate, faster growth rate and shortening of the culture period. The advanced fish fingerlings are packed in plastic bags with oxygen and transported from nearby fish nurseries with minimum stress. The fish fingerlings are acclimatized to pond water conditions before releasing into ponds. The stocking density of carp fingerlings is 3,000 numbers per hectare or 1,200 numbers per acre. The ideal species composition is cutla 10% or 300 fingerlings per hectare, rohu 80% or 2,400 fingerlings per hectare, mrigal 9% or 270 fingerlings per hectare and grass carp 1% or 30 fingerlings per hectare. In addition, 25 kilograms of mola is stocked in the same pond. Mola is an auto-breeding indigenous fish species rich in important micronutrients. Feed management is a very important part of aquaculture. Fish can be fed twice a day with commercially formulated feed such as sinking or floating feed having 28% crude protein and 3% fat. It is difficult to procure commercial feed in the local market. Farm-made feed such as a mixture of rice bran and groundnut oil cake can be used to promote the healthy growth of fish. Additional liming and fertilization can be done once a month depending on the pH and natural food production in the pond. To monitor fish growth and health condition, cast net sampling and water quality monitoring should be done at least once a month. Fish can grow 125 to 175 grams per month based on feeding and pond water conditions. Feed consumption by fish should be monitored on a daily basis. If the fish is not consuming the feed within one hour of distribution, then the quantity of feed can be reduced in the next feeding. There is a good demand for 700 grams to 1 kilogram size fish in the local market. If fish are properly fed with good quality and quantity of feed, 
and if the pond water quality is well managed, then fish can grow to the marketable size within six months and therefore two crops can be harvested within a year. Due to heavy demand for live and freshly caught fish, the WACGs are able to quickly and directly sell the harvested fish from GP tanks to local village people and in the local markets, thus generating good profits. Harvest date and quantity are well planned by WSHGs in order to prevent any distress sale. Every year the government plans to cover 1500 HA of GP tanks for fish farming through 2000 WSHGs. In the past three years, the program has been implemented successfully and the progress is still continuing uninterruptedly. During the past three years, 6,242 GP tanks with a total water area of 5,044 hectares were leased out to 6,235 women self-help groups on a long-term basis. The program envisions a long-lasting socio-economic impact including improved food and nutritional security, gender equity and environmental sustainability in villages across Orissa. The program resulted in increased fish production and productivity of the GP tanks across Orissa, which in turn increased income and consumption of nutrient-rich fish among local households. The women self-help groups were trained and guided throughout the fish farming process. The officials of the Department of Fisheries and World Fish visited the WACGs in their villages to ensure sustainable and profitable fish production through optimal use of these public water bodies. Collective efforts, proper training and adoption of better management practices eventually increased adaptive capacity to the women self-help groups, thereby helping to achieve sustainable fish production in a big way. On a daily basis, World Fish Project personnel communicate with the Fisheries Department authorities, including headquarters staff, district and block level officers to ensure appropriate design, planning, execution, monitoring and assessment of numerous activities under the 5T program of the government of Orissa. The 5T program of the Orissa government aims to transform the state through transparency, teamwork and technology in a timely manner. A project steering committee has been set up under the guidance of the Commissioner come Secretary of Fisheries and Animal Resources Development Department, which approves the annual work plan and reviews the project's progress on both a quarterly and annual basis and provides further guidance for implementation. Orissa, being an agro-maritime state on the east coast of India, with the thrust in agriculture, fisheries and aquaculture, have been under the close and constant attention of policymakers and planners. The state is endowed with small and big ponds, small or medium and major reservoirs, a large coastal belt suitable for brackish water aquaculture and deep sea fishing. Scientific fish farming in gram panchayat tanks by women self-help groups is generating sustainable income for rural women. It is even contributing to improved nutritional gains and increased fish production in the state. Women in the state are also socio-economically empowered as a result of the program. A state that loves fish as much as its people.